it has actually um, affected us as well because we did book uh, to go to Porta Ventura in April and um, it did get cancelled and I understand that people are dying, I do, I get it, but at the end of the day, I booked a holiday and I'm not allowed to go now. And sometimes I do think, you know, where are the people clapping on doorstep for me? I've been doing my bit, you know, like keeping track of neighbours, making sure they ain't breaking rules, phoning the police, if I think they are, yeah. It is shocking. It's shocking what some of the neighbours are getting up to, right? Shill at number 48, she's going in and out, in and out, like she's doing bloody okie cokey. I said, Derek, it's not right. He said, she should probably go and exercise. And I said, exercise in Derek. She's in a pencil skirt and a flowery blouse. So I did actually report Shill to police, and they did come and tase her. But it turned out that she's actually... She, she works in the admin office for the NHS, so it was a bit, it was a bit wrong. But in the day, I wasn't meant to know that. You know, people should wear uniforms or something, badges. I don't know. Now we do know, so you know, it won't happen again. Well, it won't happen for a while because she's in hospital now. Yeah, she had a bad heart. She turns to me and she says, "Excuse me, madam, can you stay two meters apart?" And I said to her, listen here, love, my dad didn't storm beaches in Normandy, so a checkout girl could tell me how to live my life. I do think it will all be over soon, yeah. Luke, I'm not saying it is 5G, yeah. But we don't know what it is, do we? Either way, I've burnt my phone, you know, just in case. But you know, there's people all over flanking the rules. Just the other day, me and Derek popped down to the beach, you know, for a little walk, and we were shocked at how many people were there. I was saying, Derek, it should just be us two on this beach. I mean, who goes down to Bloody Beach when there's a lockdown? It's different with me and Derek because, you know, we were there for our exercise, but there were other people there. A lot of people were jogging, but there were people having picnics and that, and that's just not on. If it were just joggers, I mean, it still would have been crowded. I still wouldn't have felt comfortable. You know, part of me did want to go home, but I was like, no, why should I leave? They should have to leave. We have been doing our bit, you know, clapping on Thursdays and that. I think it's lovely, but Derek, no, I don't agree with it, no. What was it you said, Derek? Oh, no, that was it, I remember now. He said, it's an empty gesture that's just there to alleviate the guilt of people who keep voting in politicians who systematically cut funding to vital public services. See, I think it's lovely. You know, it really brings the community together, yeah. It has been hard, yeah, because Derek's mum is in a home, so we haven't been able to see her. Derek is struggling with that. They did offer to uh, let us bring her here to look after her, but I can't be fucked for that. No. No, it's hard work, that. It's madness in shops. It really is, yeah. You know, just the other day, I had to wrestle a loaf of bread off another woman. Yeah. She kept screaming, I'm a nurse, I'm a nurse, I work for the NHS. And I looked at her and I said, listen, love. It's Mad Max out there. We're all bloody fending for ourselves. And at the end of the day, I need this bread to have my butty in the morning. I have got other loaves in the freezer, to be honest, but I do prefer it fresh. <laughs> you alright, love, yeah? Looking for a bit of entertainment, a bit of a laugh, yeah. You want to click that subscribe button, yeah. Little Redwood down there, yeah.